Hello and welcome back to Rob's Homemade and another festive edition. We are on a break from the Christmas calendar. We are doing today Aldi's, Aldi's festive hog roast sandwich. I just popped in Aldi and I thought I'd uh, have a nosy around see what they've got. I picked up some other stuff which you'll see in uh, videos in the future. But this is eat and go deep filled hog roast sandwich and on a sage and onion bread. Looks quite nice. White bread, hog roast, lettuce. Um, I can't really read the ingredients. I do need to go and get my eyes tested in the new year, guys. Or the writing on these packets are getting smaller and smaller. We have sage and onion bread, wheat, flour. There's there's probably 60 odd ingredients in here, so I'm not even gonna bother. But I thought I'd pick it up, pick it up as a snack and see how we get on. So here goes. These are actually better than the bleeding things you get on the bacon. So it says peel here, and then you go to peel it and it just comes off. And you're like, well, you have to get a knife out the door to even bother opening it. Ridiculous. They need to fix that. Every single supermarket needs to fix that. But we're here, like I said, today for, that's my rant over. Eat and go deep filled hog roast sandwich. So, let's go. Something quick and easy to eat on the snack. The bread looks really nice. It's nice and soft. I dropped something there. Um, cut into a triangle, which they always am. And they always, shops always do it. There's nothing on that corner there, look. And that corner. They fill the middle, but they don't fill the ends. I don't know. Maybe they, that's just the way they're made. Smells turkey-ish even though it says hog roast but we shall see like I said the bread looks really nice bit of lettuce um, meat bit of crust there and um, maybe a bit of skin we'll see it looks a little dry could probably do with a bit of mayonnaise or something on it to bind it but here goes for Aldi's festive hog roast sandwich It's not bad. Mm. It's not great flavour. <clears throat> I think there's a bit of stuffing on there. Which is the over resounding flavour. I can't even remember how much it cost. Mm. Definitely the sage and onion bread and the stuffing on there overpowers the meat, but it's still quite tasty. It's not bad at all. Not bad. They do do a couple of other flavours as well. I think there's a cranberry and brie and a turkey and stuff. I may pick those up, I don't know. But when I seen hog roast, I just wanted to give it a try. But for a quick snack on the go, if you're jumping a train somewhere or you're jumping on the bus and you've got a, a 45 minute journey, a bit peckish, nice. Mm. The bread is really nice. It's soft. Sometimes when you get these sandwiches later on in the day, they do go a bit stale. So if you're going to grab one, try and grab one early when they're freshly made. Mm. But very good. Not bad at all.
I'm making a bit of a mess of. So if you are meeting on a train or on a bus, be prepared to make a bit of a mess. But yeah, not bad. I'd give it a six, six or a seven. It's got a bit of taste. I think most of the taste comes from the stuffing and the bread. The meat does get a little bit overpowered by that, but Like I said, still not bad. So yeah, I'll, I'll stick with the six, I think. It's above average. It's a tasty sandwich. And it's something quick on the go. So it's not too bad at all. So that was my review of Aldi's festive hog roast sandwich. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Means more than you realise to me. For you guys to enjoy these videos and keep watching especially over this christmas period when i'm working so hard to get the calendar done videos with john doing videos in between i've got st so much stuff planned for next year that it's unreal and I, i'm fingers crossed i can fit it all in but anyway that was my review like i've said of aldi's festive hog roll sandwich six out of ten not bad at all it's obviously not going to get heat rating because I could dip it in some hot sauce or something, but I'm not going to. So thank you very much, and I will be back very, very soon. Have a great Christmas and a happy new year. Enjoy yourselves and stay safe, people. Peace!